Hi everyone, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am feeling a little sick. I don't know if you can tell from my voice or from my appearance, but I definitely am sick today and I can't be sick because tomorrow I have two classes. I'm teaching my 545 and a 715 charity ride tomorrow night and um, I can't be sick for them. Like I don't wanna get a cover for them because I've been looking forward to this ride and um, I'm going away all next week too so I really just need to get better. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do when I'm sick and um, kind of how I get better, I guess. I was going to lift with my mom this morning, but I pushed that off until Friday, and then I was supposed to go to a 9.30 spin class, which I am so bummed that I missed because it was Kristen's, and you guys have seen Kristen. She is the newest instructor at Solby, and it would have been the first class that I took of hers, and I was seriously looking forward to it for like a week, and I am so upset that I um, was sick. Um, I mean, I could, like I, I know that I could have went, but I didn't want to get worse. Like I wanted to get better for tomorrow. This is kind of like what I do when I get sick. Um, I try my best to just lay low and relax when I'm sick because if I don't move and if, not if I don't move, but if I, you know, listen to my body and slow down like it's kind of asking me to do, I find that I do get better quicker than if I were to kind of pretend as if I'm not sick and just continue on with my life. The first thing that I like to do when I'm sick is take a shower. Um, when I'm clean, I just feel so much better. So that's what I'm gonna go do right now. I'm gonna go take a quick shower um, and then I'll be back. All right, so I'm showered, and yes, I am the person to put on the same comfy sweatshirt after I shower. A huge tip I have when you are feeling sick is to drink a lot of fluids and eat as healthy as you can. Um, so swell bottles, I try and drink like five of these when I'm sick um, and drink a lot of like tea with lemon water. I'm sorry, I'm shaking my camera a lot. I don't know why my hand is so weak. Um, a lot of lemon water helps because it will detox your body, flush everything out, flush your sickness out. It also wouldn't be a sick day without keeping up with the Kardashians. When I'm sick and not doing anything, I also like to kind of take advantage of the time to finish things up around my house. Like, I'm going to fold some laundry right now while I watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Uh, I have some towels to fold, I have some more laundry to put in. Um, I'll probably clean up a little bit. I have a mattress to unbox upstairs. I'll show you guys it because it's a really comfy mattress, so I'll show you guys that. So I am actually going to StyleCon in Dallas and in um, Orange County, and it's in November is the one in Orange County, and the one in September is Dallas, so I'm really, really excited. And because of that, LOL is actually sponsoring this video, and they are sending me there, which is so kind of them. I've done a video with them before, and it's just so sweet of them to want to continue working with me. Um, that mattress that I did, I'll leave the link to it down below, and I'll also leave the link to where you guys can buy tickets for SalCon in the description box. But the other video where I have a lull mattress, um, it was at my parents' house because my parents are redoing their guest bedroom. And my grandma came over, I think it was like the next day, and she laid down on it. She was like, Tori, this might be the most comfortable mattress ever. Like, she loves it. She's like, I need you to send me one to my house in California. Like, whatever. She is obsessed with it, so I'm really excited to, like, unpack it and put it on this bed and lounge around on it. This is my upstairs. Like, over there is my studio. And my, you're currently on my makeup vanity right now, but I'm going to unbox this. So like I said in the last video, this is cool because it's like a mattress that gets delivered at your door. So it's really easy to bring up here. Actually, my dad brought it up here. I have a clip of him doing that. I'll insert it right now. There you go. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. <laughs> Here's my mattress. What is it like sealed, like compressed? Yeah, and then you take it out and it, and it stands. Up. Yeah, it's so cool. So I got the mattress unrolled. It says lull right there. And then when you cut it, you'll see it expand. Do you hear it? That is so cool. Ah, I 
I love these mattresses. So yeah, now I think I'm gonna set it up on the bed that I was laying on so I can finish just like vegging out and stuff, but I love these mattresses, like definitely a 10 out of 10. All right, so I am going to start making breakfast. The oatmeal that I'm making is apple pie oatmeal. I just found this recipe online, so let's see if it's good. Um, I think it's gonna be pretty good. So this is half a cup of steel cut oatmeal. I also threw in two cups of water. I just chopped up one apple and then I'm throwing that into the mixture. I'm adding in some cinnamon to the mix. Now that I think about it, this might have been better with milk, but we'll see. Throw that on the stove, let it boil, let it do its thing. Uh, just occasionally stir it and I guess we'll see how it tastes. All right, so this looks about good to me. And top it off with a bit more cinnamon. That took me about 15 minutes start to finish. If you make this at home, make it with almond milk. I think it would be a little bit more savory, but water is definitely the healthier alternative. But this is like a treat. It tastes like a treat, but it's totally healthy. It's just oats, water, cinnamon, agave, and apples. So I'm gonna make some soup. I made it the other night and I have a feeling that I'm gonna have to add in some vegetable broth to um, make it a little bit more liquidy. So I'm just gonna heat it up on my stove. In it, I love this soup. You guys should definitely try it out. In this, I have a base of gold potatoes and sweet potatoes, onions and celery, and then I blended that all together until it became like a thicker, almost like a mashed potato base. And then I added in corn, cauliflower, and broccoli. It is so easy to do. And then I just continuously added vegetable broth to make it soupier, um, but now it's all kind of thickened back up. So I think I'm gonna have to add in some vegetable broth back in it to make it a little bit more soupy again. This is just organic vegetable broth. This is all that I have left after my one serving that I'm making. So I'm gonna save this and maybe I'll eat it later tonight with some eggs over top of it. Or maybe I'll do that tomorrow morning with some eggs over top of it. Yay, and there it is, soup. And you guys can tell that it's like soupier when I add in the broth back in it. But I'm just gonna munch on this. Natty just got here. Hello everyone. <laughs> so we're probably just gonna watch like Kardashians while I eat soup. Or Jay Shore. Or Jersey Shore, we're, we love Jay Shore. We do. I'm just gonna eat one of these yogurts um, until dinner. It's 5.45, but I have a physical at 6.30, and they're like coming to my house for it. They told me not to eat like junk food two hours before, so, um, and I don't wanna like cook stuff because they're gonna be here soon, so I'll just make something after they're here. But this is just um, a vanilla dairy-free yogurt. Now I'm gonna add some goodies to it. This is superfood cereal, banana hemp. Some cacao nibs, because I like chocolate. And some goji berries. Um, I've been craving chocolates and like a lot of sugars lately because it is um, that time of the month. But I did want to say that I read a great article today. Balance with B, I think it is. Um, I'll link her Instagram and the article down below. It was all about why she started eating meat again. And when she was listing off everything about why her vegan diet wasn't working for her, I was like, yes to everything. I was like, you are preaching to the choir right now, girlfriend. Like, everything you are saying is just yes. And it, she talked about how much sugar she was eating and how like a vegan diet and a plant-based diet just wasn't working for her. So, um, and she was very respectful and she was so spot on with everything. So I messaged her on Instagram and I was like, hey, like I just read your article, it was so great. And she actually replied like a minute after I messaged her. I was like, thanks so much, and we were chatting for a little bit and she is really awesome. So I'll leave her Instagram and the article down below, go check her out, she is amazing. But yeah, I'm just going to snack on this yogurt that I just threw together. So it's later, it's like 9.30 right now, and I'm just like cleaning up the kitchen, like doing a few things. I had a physical at 6.30, it was for like my life insurance and stuff, like someone comes to your house and like gives you a physical for like to change your rate or whatever. And 
It was the first time I ever gave blood and I literally thought I was like gonna pass out. Like I was about to pass out. As soon as she started like drawing blood, I started sweating profusely. Like I was like drenched in sweat. It was so bad. I was like really anxious about the whole thing and I seriously thought I was gonna pass out. Like as she was talking to me, she's like, T keep taking deep breaths. Like I couldn't hear her anymore. Like I was going. Like I felt like I was crossing over to like death. It was really bad, but I got through it. I didn't die. I thought I was gonna pass out and throw up all at the same time. I'm going to end the vlog. Um, I did I need to drink a lot of fluids and get better. So yeah, I'm just going to set a oil diffuser in my room, turn on my humidifier, and um, call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys all did enjoy it. But yeah, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!